Hello YouTube and welcome into another part zero video for our summer A&W challenge. I'm the Game Mechanic here with you as always and we have Montezuma, uh, one of my absolute favorite leaders. Uh, he is the original DLC. Uh, you will have to buy him I believe in the store. Um, and he is excellent. He is the first ever sub 200 space race uh, I was able to pull off on Deity with Montezuma. Um, super good leader, super good at economy. Um, forgive that please. Um, and uh, a little complex maybe for newbies. Like if somebody just playing Civ for the first time and you pick up Montezuma, you might not feel like it's super strong. Uh, but let me explain to you why you'd be wrong. Um, starting with gifts of the Tlantoani. Nailed it. Uh, luxury resources in your territory provide an amenity to two extra cities. So instead of an, an individu individual copy of a luxury going to four cities, it'll go to six. So it uses your luxuries more efficiently, effectively allowing you to go wider um, and and still have the same happiness. Um, it, it, it's, it's, it's actually insane. Th those, those bonuses you get for happy cities are percentage-based. Um, so 5% for happy, 10% for ecstatic. So if you get those going, I mean, you're just 10, per you're doing 10% more of everything, production, gold, you name it. It's, it's, you're, you're doing better. You're getting all those yields. Um, and, uh, and, and, and so that winds up being really good. Again, that's a little subtle, maybe if you're not super familiar with the Civ 6 happiness system or things like that, but it's incredibly good. Um, and then the other half of it is maybe even better. Um, Military units receive one combat strength when attacking. That is very important to note. Not when defending, but only when attacking. So on the offense, you get an extra combat strength for each luxury resource improved in your land. So that doesn't count when you trade for them um, and things like that. But you're going to be on a continent. That continent is going to have four, uh, four different luxuries. Um, and if you are lucky enough to have a continent split, you could have access to potentially eight or 12 or 16 luxuries you see what i'm getting at you can get up to an extra 16 combat strength when attacking just by being montezuma that makes all of your units throughout the game basically better than most people's unique units that's actually insane so he he might be one of the he he is one of the best domination civs just because of that uh and that's only half that ability. The other half was also really good. So that, that, that's just a nutty, nutty way to begin. Um, Legend of the Five Sons uh, is also really, really good, if not just a little bit complex. Um, so you can use builder charges to complete 20% of a district. Um, that's really, really good because there's going to be a point in the game where you hit it and you have established, let's call it three or four cities they're very good and then you're still like your new cities are trying to get up and running so once you hit feudalism and you have five charge builders you can effectively train a builder for with a couple turns perhaps uh in one of your established cities send it over to a new city and in five turns complete a district that probably would have otherwise taken 20 turns 30 turns 50 I, who knows depending on the city um and, and meanwhile, you, they don't even have to build the district. Each one of those charges is 20%. And so you can have that city build like a monument. It's just established it's building a monument or a granary. And then also every single turn, it's getting 20% of a really good campus done or something like that. It's really, really good. Um, it is very inefficient to have that brand new city uh, build a builder and then use it to make a district. Like that's not how you really want to be doing it. There's definitely a time in the game where your builders builders are just going to be cheaper than your districts. Um and that's and and uh, sometimes that you can kind of muddle that, but you do you do kind of want to send out builders from your established cities, which is something I kind of preach anyways. Um but please note that that district includes a spaceport. So you can you can one turn a spaceport. If you have five one turn builders sitting around in a spaceport, boom, you unlocked it. Every single one of them pops on there. The, the second you unlock the spaceport, it's done. Uh, th so that's really, really good. A very good uh, scientific sieve because of that. Basically good at anything. Um, just that ability to get districts up quicker. Um, strong early game. Um, and, and and kind of like your economy from, from these two. Really good. Strong early game from this. And the Eagle Warrior. Um, Eagle Warrior is an above average unique unit. It is an ancient era unit. You start with one. It is the only unit, I believe, that you start with. Um, and then can... Is, is stronger than the warrior so it's kind of swordsman level ish it's not quite there but it's pretty darn good um and and can capture enemy sieves 
um or sorry when killing an enemy unit can capture a builder basically turn turn that unit into a builder if you if you kill it um that's really good that gets you a bunch of those builders early uh it can help you get an early district up quickly mostly in the early game you still want to be improving tiles chopping things things like that so you're not necessarily going to use this early to maybe get out of campus although you could um depending on your situation um the only issue with this is it it is it is an ancient era unit so it can never be buffed by generals um and it falls off pretty quick i mean the way the way that deity progresses and how far behind you are you need to kind of take advantage of that right away if you use it to just fight a city state that's fine you can go and capture a bunch of builders out of them and maybe ultimately take over that city state that's a great use of your early game um as the aztecs um but yeah so it's it's pretty darn strong and just kind of leads towards that early uh strong early game um this unfortunately and i'll I'll, I'll I'll butcher it. Yeah, I'm not a proud person. Tlachitli. It is a very forgettable name for a very forgettable uh, building. It is awful. Uh, so for for the fact that he's got a couple uh, five out of five abilities for me, this this just balances it right back down because this is a unique arena that gives you an amenity like a normal arena would, and in addition gives you faith and general points. Build one for era score. Build one when you want your Colosseum, and otherwise just forget that it exists. It is it. it th th there's no way that I would build entertainment complexes and rush out arenas, especially when my luxuries are already more efficient. Um, to just just for faith and general points, give me a holy site, give me an encampment. It's just not good. It's just not good. But Montezuma is, and he is a heck of a leader. Uh, this is a very fun game. I, I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash Game Mechanic. Come say hi to us in person on the internet. Thanks for watching, everybody.